everybody welcome back so today I am back with another mail day so this past August 2020 I entered the reservation lottery through the baby the starshine bright San Francisco shop for the new Elizabeth jumper skirt the original ETA was anywhere between uh, late September or early October however it's February now and it barely got here <laughs> today uh, although the last couple of months I have noticed that other people have gotten it so I guess better late than ever I've been so excited for this release as I talked about in my old school Lolita tag video one of my biggest old school inspirations or not even just old school but Lolita inspirations in general is through the movie Kamikaze Girls based on the novel by Novala Takamoto. All of the outfits in that movie are absolutely iconic, but the one that blows me away more than any other is Momoko in her iconic, the legendary Elizabeth OP. Unfortunately for me, however, I was uh, born with the shoulders of a quarterback and like giant ass ribs. But oh well. So it was like a dream come true when Baby finally announced that it was not only re-releasing Elizabeth, but they were making it into a jumper skirt and it had shearing and I could finally fit it. So in this particular release, there was the jumper skirt, the matching blouse, and the matching bonnet. Unfortunately, I only had enough money to get the jumper skirt. And while it did come in red and pink and black, of course, I had to go with the iconic the red but now it's here and I can't wait to open it up The tears, the real tears, it's not just lace like on the edge, it's not just lace on the skirt, they're actual like tears. Oh. Honestly, this is one of the things I was most excited about because on the OP, I always loved the rose lace waist ties and so I'm so glad that they included it on the jumper skirt too. I think I want to go with this blouse. Um, it's not my most ornate, but I really love the collar details because it reminds me a lot of not just the blouse that came out with the jumper skirt, but also the original um, Elizabeth OP because like it has the the longer lace around the neck and then it's kind of like high necked. I think it'll look perfect. I have to steam this before I wear this but I think this one will work. Okay so I do have a little bit of a problem. I want to do a cord uh, as close to like the iconic Momoko cord as possible. Uh, however, during the last couple of months, I was trying my hardest to find a red and white bonnet or at least a red and white um, maxi headdress, and I could not find one. Uh, so I think that since I'm going to have to be a little creative with headwear, uh, I'm just gonna go something more like an ode to baby. Oh, I think I'm going to use these old school baby socks. Look how cute this bunny is. And I mean, technically it has like lace top socks, but 
Okay, so we got bunny socks. Oh, here's some white. That might look nice. Alice and the Pirates. Uh, I'll put... Mm, I'll put these to the side. And of course, cannot forget the iconic lace wrist cuffs. These are body line, but I like them. They're really nice. I mean, I usually tend to swear off body line, but these are like my solid, like one of my favorite body line items. And they're really good quality too. So if they're still in stock, uh, you should go check it out and see if you can snag a pair yourself. So here it is in all its glory. I am still absolutely blown away with how beautiful it is in person. Just as I had hoped, this blouse looks like it was made to go with this dress. The lace on this collar lays over the straps perfectly. I finished off this look with some really old shoes from Baby and some Fan Plus Friend bloomers. Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.